Hello everyone, I'm Nick from nextstepnick.com and today we're going to talk a bit about Malediction. Now full disclosure, I got a code from the developer for this game, thank you very much. That being said, I don't think anyone is going to accuse me of not being objective because this is something else, this is something else. I started off with this, actually trying to do this as a let's play, so I played through about 45 minutes to an hour of this, just recording my own audio, just sort of talking about my thoughts throughout, trying to be objective, and I swear to God, it starts off at this point, there is dialogue going on right now by the way, there are no options for subtitles, so you can't get subtitles, and it is generally this choppy in game as well, I don't know why, but it just... It starts off average. There's some cheesy, funny stuff like this. I mean, I was laughing quite hard at this point because the models just look a bit weird. But then there's just other things that are infuriating and so annoying. They quip every 10 seconds. They think they're hilarious. The voice acting is terrible. I mean, have a listen to this. Say, look there. One of my clones. You must be very careful in dealing with him, Morgan. There's no telling how dangerous it could be, how incredibly cunning. What's up, nerds? Ew. Why? Why? Why am I to be cursed this way? Look at me. I, I'm hideous. A disgusting beast unworthy of life. I'm grotesque. An abomination. I bet you've had enough of that now, but I had that for 45 minutes. The main character, Morgan, is this mage. Um, literally every 10 seconds it's a quip, something funny, some awful one-liner that sounds like it was recorded inside a fish tub. Now fair enough, this is done by a small team of devs, it's free on Steam, you can get it right now for free, it was released in December, it's like an 8 month project by a load of students studying design, but at the same time, I think there's an element of like, you really need to think about <laughs> game design when you're making a game because this is showing off your skills and abilities and you can't just make a nice environment and then just the voice acting and the gameplay will forget about it that's the problem is that it's got some really interesting tools here so you can manipulate the environment you can freeze things you can move things forward and backwards in time you can use telekinesis it's quite an interesting little system and the town itself reminds me a lot of like medieval i really like the gothic feel of the town if you're new to the channel i'm a big fan of gothic tropes but the gameplay itself is just horrendous. Like, there's stuff like interesting mechanics where you think, oh, I can rewind and fast forward time to get through puzzles. And that's a really cool thing to see. But then just the execution in other areas is so bad. It looks like you've got a load of assets and just stuffed them together. Like, things don't add up properly. The puzzles aren't puzzles. Most of the time they're annoying. I've left a clip in here from my Let's Play. Uh, I will tell you when it comes up, but it is literally about 40 minutes in where I have lost the will to live because the camera has gone mad and I have no idea what I'm doing. The other major thing is you don't have any objectives. It doesn't tell you where to go, doesn't tell you what to do. A lot of the time things bug out, they don't work properly, there's so many glitches. And like I say, I know it's done by a small team, but at the same time, if you're going to make a small thing that's showing off your craft, you need to make sure it works properly. Like, you're putting it out on Steam and people are going to download this and spend their time playing it. You want to show what you can do. Make sure it's not filled with bugs. Like, the design just breaks the rules of, like, Design 101. I mean, sometimes you get overwhelmed by enemies that just infinitely spawn. Like here, for example, those barrels never stop spawning. It's not like there's a finite limit on them or, you know, you can hide in a certain place or move to a certain area. They literally just keep coming and coming and coming. There's not even like, oh, one dies, another one spawns. It's literally just constant, which means you can't have a second to think about your surroundings. Check this out, 40 minutes in, right? Prepare yourself. What is this? What is this? Why is this happening now? What is the hell is going on? Right. What do I do? This isn't a puzzle. It's just annoying. I can't see past his head. What is going on? I can't see. No. <laughs> Oh, I'm, lo I'm losing the will. I am losing the will. Am I supposed to shoot the thing at that? It's just a nightmare. As you can see, I was really struggling to cope at that point. I had no idea what I was doing. There's no objective markers, like I say, so you just run around 
a lot just looking for things. Sometimes there's stuff, sometimes there isn't. Sometimes the objective works, other times it glitches out. Sometimes switches work, sometimes they don't. It's just, oh god. I'm actually, it's like PTSD. I'm sitting here now thinking, just no, I don't want to play anymore. And that is the worst experience in the world if you are trying to break out as a developer and you want to show off your skills. It's for me to sit here and just think, no, <laughs> I don't want to come back. It's like even with the boss fights, there's some, you know, it's very much the stereotypical boss fights. An enemy appears or it does X, Y and Z and you use an object to beat them. But it's just annoying. I mean, here I'm throwing barrels back at this enemy. It's pretty basic when you actually get down to it. They just spam you with attacks. And to be honest, a lot of the time as well, that then lowers the frame rate. But it just looks poor. It just looks poor. It doesn't run properly. You've got to throw barrels back into this enemy. At one point, I just stand on the other side. A barrel just cracks into him anyway. It's literally just... <laughs> it was so bad. And the, the voice acting and the dialogue combined with this just... Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it at all. I'm so sorry, guys. I know you gave me a copy and I was trying to be objective, but... I mean, this is a good example. I got this cog for a puzzle, right? I'm meant to put it on this slot on the wall. There is controls, like controller controls, but it doesn't work properly. So I pull it off that slot on the wall. I run to the new area. Okay, I've noticed now, even though there's no objectives, I've figured it out. I need to put that cog on that slot in the wall. I bring it back over whilst getting stuck in the wall multiple times on the way because, of course, I did. I finally get there. I can't rotate it. What's going on here? You know, I'm meant to rotate it and put it on there, surely. But none of the controls are working on the controller. I went to WAS later on, and even WAS didn't work. So now I'll go into the menu and have a look at what the controls are. But the funny thing is, is you can't see those icons. They only pop up when you actually press the corresponding button. So right now, I can't tell if I've highlighted back or not. So I can't tell what I'm clicking. So I'm tapping A furiously, pressing up and down to try and select back, but I can't see where it is. I finally get back into the game. Okay, I'll try that one more time. See if I can't figure it out. It clips through the floor. <laughs> That's the only way through. It doesn't come back. I went and checked. It's gone forever. And it's just... Oh no, it was just like hell. I just, I didn't enjoy it at all. And I'm so sorry, guys. I really appreciate you sending me the code. I think you've got some great skills there when it comes to things like, you know, it looks like you could potentially do some awesome stuff, but at the same time, if the game is not actually shorter, even if it's 10, 15 minutes, that's fine, but make it showcase the best. Don't prolong it and make it showcase the worst. But anyway, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It really helps out with the channel, and hopefully I'll catch you again very, very soon. Thank you, guys, and goodbye.